variety of reasons to win the trophy. So the teams emerge from the tunnel into the sunshine here at the Oval to a tremendous reception for this 114th Irish Cup final. A big day out for the fans, of course, and both sets of supporters wondering, will it be our day? Looking at the Linfield team, Gary Peebles has recovered from a calf injury, so he plays and the Blues are at full strength. And such is the changed face of this side, only Dornan, Easton, Jeff Spears, Beatty and Bailey are survivors from the final of two years ago when they lost out here at the Oval to Glenavon. Bangor too are at full strength and whilst there may be doubts about the match fitness of the main strikers, David McCallan and Jonathan McGee, Bangor fans will be delighted with uh, that those two who've scored 47 goals between them are starting the game. Dalton, Eddie Spears and McCaffrey are the new faces in the side since last year's cup final success over Ards. And what a great spectacle it is on this Saturday, May the 7th. Glad to say the sun is shining and as always the oval pitch looking in immaculate condition. By the keeper again, Haylock did well. There's the header from Fenland, blocked by Braun. Beatty takes it, curls it in. Oh, it's 1-0. It's Peebles. Up goes the shirt. The usual celebrations. Dalton Beaton and the Linfield fans. The terraces erupt. Goal number 12 of the season for Gary Peebles. Almost two minutes into injury time in this first half. The corner from Beatty. And people so dangerous in these situations find the mark. And a bad time for Bangor to concede a goal, and a great time for Linfield to score one. And could be something on here. Fenlin right at the death. Has he the legs to go on? Pat Fenlin, he has! A smile there from Terry Hayes, from Lindsay McCone. The Oval erupts, the Linfield fans go crazy. And it's all over now. His first goal in the Irish Cup campaign, his fourth since joining Linfield for 22,000 pounds. Oh yes, he enjoyed the moment, so did they. The whistles are all coming from the Linfield supporters as the Bangor supporters drift away in their discipline. But Coyle stuck to his task, and in his 14 and a half years at Windsor Park, Coyle won 31 trophies, including 10 league championships. I thought at the beginning, to be honest with you, that Roy Coyle... Coyle's one main regret was that he didn't land the Irish Cup more often at Windsor Park. We got into a few finals, and uh, we did have a lot of uh, inept performances. That well, was a little bit of bad luck. Um, but certainly I'd like to win the Cup more because everybody remembers that day. Uh, rather than you win the League Championship, that's over a season. Uh, possibly not having won the, uh, the Irish Cup uh, more than, uh, I think it was three times won it. Uh, that was a, a big disappointment. Matten finds Healy. Turns Walsh well. Healy off. And it's straight for goal. Going all the way. And he does it! Gaffey going in there, almost fell to Gibson, but Healy away, and here's McCown, and that's one each. Lindsay McCown. <laughs> Billy Murray. Lovely skills. McCown. In goes Rafferty, out comes McGee. McGee wins, but only just. McKee, off Rafferty, McKee again. And it's a penalty kick. Corrine can't believe it. McManus the man. Bringing down the key. And we have a penalty for Linfield. Mr. Donnelly was very close to the play and had no hesitation. McKee went down and Mr. Donnelly pointed to the spot. So for Vince McGee and Corrine, it's all turned round. One up, now it's one each. Over six minutes left, Murray, and he makes no mistake. 2-1, Linfield.
and Billy Murray, who just recently scored a hat-trick of penalties in an Irish League game. Mr Donnelly having a look at his watch. And that is it. Linfield have won the Irish Cup for the 33rd time. Mock back from the brink of defeat with the equaliser 11 minutes from the end. And then Billy Murray was the man who stepped up to knock in the penalty.